Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, four English sparkling wines today, all from the Chapel Down Winery, uh, but four different cuvées. And uh, let's just dig in and see where we get to. Um, I've organised them in vintage order. Uh, uh, well, I think I have. The first one's called um, uh, Vintage Reserve Rosé Brut. Uh, but even though it says Vintage Reserve, I can't see a, a vintage on it. Anyway, uh, let's just dive in and see where we get to. Um, it says Pinot Noir driven, uh, which I, so I imagine it means it's Pinot Noir, maybe with a little bit of um, some other Pinot grapes in there, uh, maybe even, even a bit of Reichenstein, because there's some Reichenstein in one of the uh, one of the later blends. Now there's a slightly smoky elderflower character here, which for me says that there's something in here that is not of the traditional Champagne family. Not sure what it is, but it's, it seemed to giving giving this um, what I call a burnt. Uh, burnt floral character, if that makes sense. Burnt elderflower, can you have burnt elderflowers? Uh, but yeah, I get that character. Uh, but beyond there, a uh, bit of strawberry, um, and there is a bit of citrus there, some uh, lifted aromatic, but um, as I say, that slightly burnt, uh, uh, burnt character puts me off just a bit. Well, I do find that smoky aromatic character does take over just a little bit. Um, I like the wine bit behind is basically sounding nice, crisp um, juiciness, and there's a bit of red fruit, there's a bit of the apple in there. Uh, but um, that that uh, that aromatic edge uh, disturbs me just a bit. Okay, but not great. Let's see whether we get greatness in the next one. Three Graces, 2008. Cool, and this is pin. This is a classic Champagne grapes. 55 Pinot Noir, 37 Chardonnay, 8 Pinot Meunier. Lots of froth here, but um, once the froth's died down, I stick my nose in here, and um, this is much more what I'm, I'm looking for. Um, it's um, stewed Bramley apples. There's that um, uh, cooked, slightly caramelised uh, character, uh, but the apples behind have got their sharpness, have got their tang, uh, maybe even a little bit of things like the citrus, and it's just not just the lemon, it's got the, the bit of the grapefruit tang in there as well. A bit of toastiness too, it smells good. Well, for me, a significant step up. Um, there's juiciness, roundness, um, and uh, yes, there is Christmas, and um, uh, some people uh, who uh, are used to slightly sweeter styles may find it a bit on that sharp side, but um, um, what, what's good about it is it's elegant, um, it's got lots of flavour, uh, and it's not trying to over you, overwhelm you either with um, yeastiness or overripe fruit. I think overripe fruit would be a struggle to do in, in England, uh, but... Um, but yeah, it's it's a really nicely beautiful, really nicely balanced wine, and um, a big step up for me from uh, uh, from the rosé. Um, let's try the Blanc de Blanc. Uh, I think this is all Chardonnay, two thousand and seven. Well, it's a year older than the one before, but uh, it smells, if anything, uh, uh, younger. Uh, there's a crispness, there's um, this smoky um, uh, richness. It's weird. It's like lean but rich, if that makes sense. Uh, almost sounds like a supermodel. Uh, uh, and it is sleek, elegant. Um, maybe it, it's not going to be as full in flavour as the one before, but it's going to have uh, maybe a more aristocratic profile. Let's have a see. Well, it's maybe not as rich in flavour as the one before, but it's just as uh, uh, elegant. If anything, maybe a little bit more svelte and elegant. Um, so, whereas the one before had a bit more breadth of flavour, here there's this, um, yeah, really fine, uh, and there's a juiciness about it, uh, but um, any time you think the flavours are just going get, to get that bit too expansive, uh, there's this structure and acidity that keeps it fresh, keeps it poised, keeps you on to coming back for more. I, I mean, I like, I like both of those, and uh, wines for different occasions. And uh, uh, let's see how we get on with the, the uh, wine number four, which is Pinot Reserve 2006. Uh, so a year older, vintage cuvee, Pinot Noir, Pinot Blanc, and a Reichensteiner. Let's give it a whirl. Well, it's weird, we're back to frothy. Um, and um, <laughs> the, these two with the Pinots in were considerably more frothy in the glass than uh, the other two. Why? Who can tell? Um, but uh, what I notice here is maybe not as aromatic um, and uh, in aromatically interesting as the previous two. Um, it's, uh, I, it's, it's, it's the oldest, um, but I don't notice any um, big yeasty character coming through. It's been, I think it's been at least five years on the, on the yeast, but I, I, I don't get that too much of that character coming through. There's a little bit of the bready dough in there in the background, but um, not overwhelmingly so. Um, well, it's rich, 
Uh, it's uh, probably the richest in flavour of, of, of the four here. Um, but um, I think it slightly suffers after the elegance and uh, subtlety of the two uh, previous wines. Uh, so there is a, 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 a the, the, yes, there's this apple, cooked apple, cooked pear as well, the citrus uh, freshness going through it, um, and a bit of the uh, bready richness. But it just feels a little bit more stolid, uh, only in comparison with the, the, the previous two, as I say. Um, it's it, by itself a perfectly pleasant wine, I'd happily get through a second, probably a third glass, but uh, compared with the uh, um, number wines two and three, um, it's it looks a bit... Um, Stolid? Stolid's a bit unfair. Uh, I think it's just that the uh, two and three are, are, are so good. Um, so those are, I, I, my only problem now is that uh, there's only one of me. I'm going to go and have to find out, find some friends to, uh, uh, to uh, polish off these two bottles with because um, they deserve polishing off. They are good. Uh, hopefully uh, I'll convert them to the English Sparkling Wine course. Hopefully I'll convert you to the English Sparkling Wine course. And um, hopefully I will see you in a subsequent video.